Come on, come on, come on, come on in. Y'all already see what time it is, man. We talk a receiver here with the Carolina Panthers. How can we make this receiving room better? And there's a guy by the name of Roman Wilson hailing from the Michigan Wolverines. I just can't seem to stop talking about the Wolverines, man. Look, I, I done told y'all about King JJ. That's my boy. Uh, look. I'm taking a look at this entire team because the the Michigan Wolverines with Blake Corum and the crew. Oh, man. And now I'm talking about Roman Wilson here. Look, uh, out of the receivers in this draft right here, I'm going to be real with you guys. He's more of a tier two type of guy where he'll be a good number two. And he has the potential to really groom himself to be a number one. But it's going to take at least a year or so for him to groom his, his way on in. But I'm not opposed to the Carolina Panthers looking at Roman Wilson in the third round as a potential candidate to come in here and really, really, really upgrade this wide receiver room. You're talking about a guy that can come out here and make plays. Um, he has the speed. He has the ability to break away from people. You're talking about a guy six foot, 192 pounds. This season, he had 45 receptions. For a whopping 735 yards, he had 12 touchdowns. He finds his way to the end zone. <clears throat> the number one thing, if you're looking to come in here as a Carolina, we need you to hit the end zone. That's one thing we were lackluster at this entire year. We did not see the end zone enough. I believe at this point right now, we barely got 12 touchdowns from our quarterback. So <clears throat> having a guy that gives you the ability to really stretch that field, especially in the red zone, would be a good thing to have. Um, I like this guy. The number one thing with me is consistency. He consistent, consistently gave you average numbers. And that's why I put him in as a tier two type of receiver. He only had one game against Purdue where he went off for nine receptions for 143 yards, but he didn't have any touchdowns in that game. That's the problem. But he had consistently games for 56 yards, 58 yards, 59 yards, 42 yards. And all of those games were games where he had touchdowns in majority of those. So that's why I say consistently he can be a good number two receiver for you. And there's nothing wrong with being a good number two. Like, I think coming in, if you want to look in the third round and wait, third round he could drop or potentially top of the fourth. Uh, Cause we're sitting at the top of each round, so having a guy like this right here would not be bad to take uh, later on in the rounds and the later picks. You got a guy that can come in along with Adam Thielen, along with what we have here, um, and potentially give you a good kickstart. Yeah, he's not a world beater, but he's a guy that's sure-handed, and when he's targeted, he makes plays. Um, so. You want a, a speedy guy that can come and take the top off the defense. And he's a guy that can come in and do just that for you. So I would take a look at Roman Wilson if I were the Carolina Panthers and I was looking to upgrade his defense and have somebody that can go and take the top off. Because the number one thing is it's all about scoring. And this guy gets into the end zone. He gets behind defenders. He averages about 16.3 yards per Per catch. That's pretty good. That means just about he catching 20 yard bombs almost every play, just about. That's very good. Explosive to be exact. So you need a guy that can come and take the top off the defense and put a lot of high power into this offense that we have right here. Because I would look for the Carolina Panthers to come out, change up the scheme a little bit, and do a lot more running. But you know, when there's shots and times to take shots down the field, you do it. And having a guy like this right here probably running a little bit of player action or running a post route or something like that would be great to see. Or him running slants would be perfect to see in Carolina, man. I'm all about coming back, giving to the people, and trying to make Carolina Panthers great again. So come on in here. Like, comment, subscribe. We're going to make this team great again, man. Your boy, the GM, is in the building. Your boy, Dub Q, is here. And I ain't letting you down.